that leave out your edges is late, honey. Now I'm taking my Design Essentials Diamonds. This is a sheen spray. And now we're just gonna separate the curls. I like to um, take them piece by piece and twirl them in the direction that they will curl, just to give a more bigger, voluminous look. And once again, this is three bundles of Julia hair. This is the Malaysian curly. This is three bundles of 28 inch, but we tightly one curled it so it does look shorter. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells. I am officially back. I took a little break, but now I am back. See y'all in the next one. how it is that I do my hair videos or how I bring it to you guys then basically all that means is that I've been wearing some hairs honestly this is probably like the second hair company that has like some bomb body wave hair um, my all-time favorite body wave hair is from darn what is it called Sealy hair so if you haven't seen that video I will go ahead and link it down below so that you can definitely check that out but this one is like kind of like it's competition or whatever but I want to get into all the details about so this is how the hair came packaged obviously this hair is from Julia hair now I did previously have their straight hair if you guys seen my how to make your closure look like a frontal video that is their straight hair in that video so since then it's been almost probably a year since almost a year probably like nine ten months since I've gotten hair from them that hair lasted me for about like a good six months and then I finally probably stopped wearing it only because it did start to shed a little bit so I was kind of like over it at that point but it still was some really good hair so this time around I decided to try a different texture from the time that I bought their hair before and I used to come in this nice little box like this now although I do prefer like the little drawstring bags this is still cute it did come like a little bit beat up so I doubt that I'll save it um or whatever but Packaging now, the shipping for this hair you guys took exactly three days I can't remember if they sent it through FedEx or DHL I think it was DHL if I'm not mistaken, but the shipping with this hair is really fast three days is honestly not that bad I have in four bundles and a closure now I have in four 28 inch bundles and then a six by six lace closure the closure is only 18 inches you guys with this particular texture um i'm not sure if it's all the rest of their textures um i only know about this body wave texture but this closure only goes up to 18 inches that is the longest length that they carry now most hair companies go all the way up to 20 inches 18 to 20 inches is not that big of a difference but that's just something to keep in mind at first i thought it was going to be like too noticeable like i'm getting 28 inch bundles i'm gonna have an 18 inch closure it's gonna look real weird but because the hair is curled i feel like you can't really even tell it's not that noticeable so it's really not that big of a deal just making sure that i do let you guys know that now as far as this hair you guys like i mentioned this hair is 28 inches it is definitely true to length it is definitely thick these bundles are nice and full i do have in four bundles i probably should have only put three because this hair is super duper full but i really don't mind it um so yeah that's a plus because their bundles are nice and thick usually the longer the length that you get the shorter the weft so you're getting less hair so that's why i got four bundles not knowing that this hair was going to be this thick actually don't mind it for once so the thing with the bundles you guys this is a part of their premium line now, i do have a video on some raw virgin hair which is a little bit more of a higher quality that i did i'll leave that link down below so you guys can check that out if you haven't already but basically this hair company they're still selling 8a grade hair which is just you know standard grade of hair but this premium body wave hair is actually a higher grade so instead of it being 8a this hair is actually 10a grade hair i did go ahead and email the company because i had a lot of questions um 
about like what's the difference between the regular hair and you guys' premium hair and they did explain to me that premium hair is a higher quality so with that being said of course it is going to cost a little bit more than the regular grade of hair that they offer but I feel like I wouldn't mind paying for something that is more of a higher quality especially if I get it and I wear it which I have been wearing it um, for quite some time now and it seems to add up like okay I can definitely tell the difference then you know of course I'm going to spend a little bit extra money on it so from getting their straight hair almost a year ago to getting these premium bundles I can definitely tell a difference with the hair you guys like like I said I got a good six months out of the other hair and then it would just begin to shed too much so I was just kind of over it at that point but that was still some really good straight hair you guys um it is longer hair I haven't got any tangling if you guys are wondering I'll go ahead and say it because it's pretty obvious this hair definitely holds a curl that's the main reason why I got it. Like I said, body wave hair is just, you pretty much just can't go wrong with it. It's my favorite texture. So you guys will see like a lot of videos on like body wave hair. Um, I know you guys have been asking me about like an affordable body wave wig. Go see my IC hair video. That'll kind of help you out. But most of the time, once I'm bringing you guys body wave hair, it is a wig that I made myself. So when you guys are looking for body wave wigs, I don't really have too much experience with them because I prefer to get them in or get bundles and then make it into a wig myself. Hair hasn't been giving me any issues at all. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. If I could say something about this hair, it wouldn't be so much about the bundles. It would be about the closure because the closure is not a part of their premium line it's just a regular closure like i have mentioned before so it does have just a little bit of flyaway hairs on it the quick fix to that that i had to do was just really go in and put some mousse on the hair it's nothing too crazy to where i had to like cut them out or like pull them out just to kind of lay it down lay down the little bit of flyaway hairs that it does have i did just use some mousse and then that seemed to keep it you know lasting or to keep the flyaway hairs away throughout the day and then like the next time that i put the wig on then I'll just have to do that again definitely have some mousse or your got to be free spray whichever one you choose to use just as a precautionary thing like I said it's not too overbearing to where I'm like I absolutely hate the closure it's just that it does have just a little bit of flyaway hairs on it so aside from that this hair has not been giving me any problems at all it is really really full you guys I don't think that you would need four bundles like I said I probably should have only put three but I went ahead and did all four because I just wasn't sure I just wanted to make sure it wasn't gonna be thin yeah I don't have really any complaints as far as the shedding with this hair you guys the shedding is very minimal like I did that and I got one strand of hair so far so the shedding is not bad if it was something like to the point to where I didn't like it I would definitely be honest and tell you guys that because shedding and like tangling is like a really big deal when it comes to you know judging the character of a hair company or even a specific hair type so the ends of the hair are nice as well i know sometimes i forget to tell you guys that but the ends of this hair are good i didn't have to cut it trim it do anything of that nature now i did curl this hair with my curling iron and then i took a nap you guys so i did kind of like sleep on them a little bit so it may look like the hair is a little bit frizzy but i promise you guys it's not it's just because these curls have been slept on but I really curl my hair with the intentions of like brushing it out with like a wide tooth comb and letting it drop I like to go for more of like a wavy type of look not so much like tight wand curls so that's pretty much what it's doing I always think that hair looks better like the next day like the first day you do it it could look good or whatever but for me when I do curls it always looks so much better the next day because they drop and they just get like so pretty and whatnot so what I'm gonna do you guys is I'm gonna go ahead and leave uh, the link for this hair down below and then I'm gonna leave a separate link for the closure since it's not like a bundle you know closure and bundle type deal thing so I'm gonna drop two links one for the hair since it is separate from their regular hair and then i'll go ahead and drop you guys a link for the closure so you have to click two links if you want to get this whole like closure bundle thing going on i am definitely going to continue to wear this hair it's been almost like probably a little bit like a month and a half since i've had the hair and i'm absolutely in love with it this is probably going to be the second hair company whose body wave hair I'm absolutely in love with. If I missed anything or if there's anything else that you guys want to know, um, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me and Dior. I got another wig review for you guys. I really feel like y'all gonna love this wig. It is super affordable and it's like 
is fire. So this hair is from Julia's Hair. It's a highlight ombre straight lace front wig, invisible pre-plugged baby hairs. And it's 150 density and 24 inches. And it is the most beautiful wig I've ever received. Um, so right here, you just see me put foundation on the lace so that the lace can be my shade when it's time for me to glue it down. Um, I'm doing my temporary glue. I got my got to be spray. And I'm just going to blow dry that down so it can temporarily glue. So I'm just going to get my wax stick. I got this wax stick from the beauty supply store for only $10. Um, this wax stick helps me lay down the baby hairs and the flyaways and whatever it needs to be laid down and flat down so you're gonna get your hot comb after you use your wax stick and you're just gonna go over that a few times so that that can be flat down too <laughs> So guys, I'm just going ahead and cutting the lace. It was so hard. Like when I tell you this temporary glue feels like I glued the whole wig down and did the whole process, you wouldn't believe me. Like it was so hard to cut this lace off because it was already glued down to my forehead. I just got some alcohol, put it on a paper towel, and I'm just wiping off all the dry glue and whatever's left on my forehead so we can lay our baby hairs. So I got some concealer so that my part can be more visible. Game changer. <laughs> so now we're just going to lay our baby hairs. Guys, this looks so natural, like, wow. I just want to show you guys how this hair moves like soon as it came out the box like it just moves it's not stiff it don't shred this is really good hair and it's colored and it's ombre this shout out Julia hair because I was baffled <laughs> So guys, I did my makeup and this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, this tutorial, this installation, but big shout out to Julia Hair. Bye guys. <laughs>